Hey guys, thanks for stopping by the channel. Uh, my name is Casey. So you're probably watching this video because you're fixing to take Security Plus and you're trying to figure out how to study for it or a more effective way to study for it. Because I know I was probably, I spent more time binge watching videos on how to study than actually studying. Don't do that. I can tell you right now, just, just fucking don't do that. Uh, so let's see here. Uh, a couple things that I could help and give you some tips on because uh, I'm pretty much the expert now just like all the other ones that post on YouTube now after they've passed Security Plus they just think like they got like some big brain knowledge up here that nobody else knows. Um, but I'm going to help you. Okay. So if you're like me and you had to work like a full time job and study to pass it, uh, what I would do is I would delegate like just delegate time man. that's all you have to do. Um, I would study about two, two and a half hours a day. Um, yeah, because after two and a half hours to two to two and a half hours, bro, I just couldn't retain information. It was just like, my mind would wander too much and it would, I would just be wasting time at that point, honestly. And there was no need for me to try to force and cram more in there if it's not going, you see what I'm saying? So make sure like when you're studying, make sure your time's effective and make sure, you know, you're getting the information in. And so let's see here. Uh, this one's going to be, I'm going to try to explain explain this so you can like understand it but you got it i want to say study yourself figure out how you learn information the best okay so a lot of people say oh i watched daryl get i read daryl gibson's book and i read the book i read the book i read the book that doesn't work for me i can't read a book to be honest and it sounds really weird um uh, i can't read a book and retain information i was looking at like yeah, this ain't fitting to work for me. So I never, I never even purchased the book. I never even looked at it. Um, I watch videos and then I would go do the security plus objectives and anything that I couldn't have a conversation about big point right here, anything that you can't have a conversation about, you fully don't, you fully probably don't understand. So if you can't, if you can't tell somebody about how Netstat works and what it does, or you can't tell somebody, um, what a piggyback is, or you can't tell someone how hashing works or the types of hashing that's used, um, then you might want to go back through and be able to study that a little bit more and understand it a little bit more and and take different you know different areas because people explain things differently so the videos i use is a professor messer of course because he's the og that's the og mad dog right there um professor messer just gives you all like so much information for free um and then you can also like opt in to like purchase things as well on the back end but he's just a good dude and you can also listen into his study sessions that he has like uh once a month with security plus and that'll really give you like some tidbits of information on how to study. Uh, there was one guy said, uh, that's where I picked up my studying from. It was one kid said he was like knocking out like A plus, net plus, security plus. And he was like CCNA, SysP. And I was like, I thought I was cool because I just got security plus. But this dude like knocked out like all these certs like within six months. And I was like, dang, he really no life did. But I mean, he did get them. And he said if he if he goes through the objectives and he can't have a conversation about each thing, and just a small one, I mean, you don't have to write like a four page report on the shit. Um, he said, if you just, if you can explain a little bit each one, then you're good to go. And so that's, that's one of the things I took in. So the videos I watch, Professor Messer, um, Mike Myers, and then Jason Dion. Jason Dion was my last one. So it was like in that order of the three I watched. And I would go back through and you know, like, watch certain people explain certain things because they all explain it different but it's all in the ballpark you know of what you're gonna see on the test um let's see here what i took some practice tests but none of the practice tests i took was even anything close to the the real tests um comp to police i'm not finna like leak the secrets here but you like the best the best way i can put this you have to understand the information to be able to apply it to those situations you, you see what i'm saying I, like it's not gonna it's not gonna ask you like the definition of something most likely it might it might not i don't know um most of the time it's it's gonna be some sort of uh it's gonna be some sort of um yeah which one's the best apple to eat out of all three and you're like well damn i like i like all three apples actually but yeah so let's see here uh a lot of people said set a date, right? Set 45 days out and all that. I didn't set a date. And I think that's probably part of the reason I failed my first time. Oh, I, I didn't fail the test, but I failed myself because I didn't actually go take the test. So I studied for like three months. And like one day I just fell off and I quit studying. And I just didn't go back. So I was like, ooh. So 
it kind of rolls me into the next point. Set a date after you think you're comfortable. So I should have set a date that first three months I was studying. At the end of like two and a half months, I should have set a date like a I got like a two weeks out, a month out, and then took the test. Um, but for me personally, I didn't set the date because I feel like I wasn't comfortable enough to take the test yet. And there's no reason for me to set that date if I don't feel comfortable and I don't understand the information because I might have knew I was getting like like 40% on practice tests. And if you're getting 40% on practice tests, you need to be like in the high 90s on those practice tests to be, uh, you know, close to, you know, getting the information down. Um, so also uh, the thing that kind of could kind of put me back in high gear again is me and some of my friends made a bet about taking security plus and they knew I was going to take it. And um, so we kind of held it, held each other accountable because we was all going to take it. So we kind of held each other accountable and it also helps. Uh, there's like some, there's like a security plus discord. If you don't know what discord is, it's kind of like a, uh, like a chat, like, a, like the millennial chat room. I don't know for any of you boomers out there. Love y'all. Peace out. Um, yeah. So get in the discord for security plus if you don't have people to study with and you just chat with them. Uh, I did it a couple of times and there's some really, uh, there's people that really can like, you know, break down things and explain everything to you. Um, so that was pretty nice. I, I really like that discord is a, a nice community. And if you didn't understand something, you could ask them and they would be able to explain it for you. Uh, so yeah, just keep accountability. Um, have somebody hold you to it. Um, I had people that hold me to it, but at the same time, like, it wasn't the type I needed. Like I needed somebody breathing down my neck. Like, hey, did you study today? Did you study today? Did you study today? And I, that's what I needed to push me through. And some, I mean, sometimes it's just nice to have that person behind you, you know, making sure that you're doing all right. So there's nothing wrong with that. And if if you're the type of person that can can study on your own without no accountability, and you just want to better for yourself, my hat's off to you. I don't know how you do it, but you get that bag. You get that bag. Now, um, let's see. Before I wrap up the video, I kind of want to talk about you know a couple of things. Um, like, like what, what, what will you get outside of security plus? Um, and this, this, this is the reason I got it. Uh, cause it all, it literally almost doubled my salary. Like I was making like 25, 30 a year. And now I'm like, like I can selectively say yay or nay to jobs now. And I can, I can say, yes, I want the job. No, I don't want the job or I want more pay. Well, I want, well, no, I would never say I want less pay cause that's just kind of dumb. I'll be honest with you. Everybody want my money. Uh, so now I can kind of go back and forth with these people like, oh, I have security plus and a secret clearance. So now you're, paid, you're trying to pay 45. I want like 55 for that area because rent might be, you know, out the door. And you also might have to move uh, if you're not lucky to live in like a, like a big area, you know, with like a, the IT industry. Like for me, it's like either I have to go to Huntsville, Alabama, which is way up north for me, or down into the Panhandle. Uh, of Florida because uh, there's like Navy bases and stuff down there uh, and Air Force bases. So yeah, that's that's where I'm headed Headed down there. But yeah, uh, I do want to say thank you guys for tuning in watching this uh, If you have any questions about studying or maybe I can help explain something to you by no means I'm not an expert, but I have a binder. that's like 500 pages thick of notes I wrote down like so I, I would study write it down in my own words and then go back and read it later But most of the time I couldn't read my handwriting because it's chicken scratch. So yeah, that's how it went for me. Got any questions, let me know. Put it down below. Hit me up on Instagram. It doesn't really matter. You can find me. Literally, my YouTube name is the same as my Instagram name. And it's, you're going to type in Pod Man and see the ugliest dude you've ever seen in your life, which is me. Hope you have a great day. Good luck on studying, and you're going to pass.